Hello, I'm Tom Tarosa with The Deal. I'm here with Patrick McHugh of Okapi Partners. So Pat, tell me a little bit about yourself, what you do at Okapi. And... So I'm a co-founder of the firm. Uh, we founded the company about 10 years ago, actually 12. Um, and we spend our time uh, working with investors or companies engaged in solicitations, M&A transactions, or generally uh, investor response matters, such as corporate governance consulting, um, off-season investor engagement, uh, programs. Okay. So there seems to be a lot of conversation about ESG issues right now, and everybody seems to agree that you know companies need to be focused on this. But there's not a lot of clarity on what companies, uh, what investors can do to apply pressure to to force these companies to kind of adhere to these issues. So can you tell me what ways there are for investors to measure and quantify shortfalls and really apply pressure when it comes to ESG? Sure. So so the G part of it has been with us for quite a while. I think the, ro the rules of the road have been pretty much established. People know what is expected of them. Companies know what investors uh, expect in, in governance structures at companies. Uh, those that choose not to follow those uh, accepted uh, norms either better have a good story to tell about why they're not or uh, expect you know, blowback and uh, you know, pressure to be put on them by these investors. And typically, uh, one of the, the most frequent uh, means of, of pressure to put on a company is um, either, say, on pay withholds or more targeted um, withholds against specific directors, maybe specific to the, the uh, committees that they sit on that are applicable to the matters that concern them. Okay. So, um, what I have heard is, is that, you know, there's more and more services collecting data on the E part of uh, the, 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 the equation, the environmental part. And I've heard from many investors there's just multiple sources, there's no uniformity uh, in, in presentation, it's, it's creating challenges both for the investors to try and compare apples to apples as well as for some of these companies because they're having these requests made of them to provide data and it's being asked of them in many different formats and, and ways. And it's, it's creating sometimes bottlenecks at the company, which can lead to maybe uh, a little bit of delay in getting the information out or not in the, in the form that maybe investors would uh, prefer to see it in. Okay, so what are companies doing to address these pressures and, and do you see that strategy shifting as we kind of see this shift to social and environmental issues from the governance? Well, it, 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 it's taking up more and more time is what I'm hearing from companies. Now, obviously, it's industry specific. You know, the oil and gas industry, you know, they're, they're going to be a little bit better, uh, I think, equipped at this point to provide that kind of data because they have been doing that for quite some time. Uh, so it's just a matter of uh, understanding the format that people want to see it in and making sure that they're um, disclosing it publicly in a manner that's easily understandable by uh, the investor community. Uh, one of the, the things I hear frequently is an investor will say that they don't disclose this information. I go back to my client and they say, we absolutely do. It's on this website. If you were to look nine clicks later, it's buried somewhere on the website. So I think it's just trying to um, smooth out that rough communications process so that companies can disclose it in a better way and investors can access it easier. Okay. And so with investors who are potentially grappling over certain investments, what would you say to them if they're trying to maintain a balance between applying pressures and, you know, capturing alpha at the end of the day? Well, I, I think that, you know, there is data that seems to suggest that companies with better ESG policies tend to outperform. Uh, I, I think, you know, that could just be an indicator of an, a board that's just more engaged in everything facing the company. They're looking at these issues, they're thinking about them and how to address them. Uh, and, and I think that these companies um, do a better job of telling their story and better job of explaining what's going on in the boardroom. And as a result, they're going to I think receive a little less pressure from investors because they're satisfied um, in, in the story that the company is telling. And if they're not, well then they're going to tell the board and, and if it's an engaged board, as more times than not it is, they're going to take a look at it and, and probably get back to them with an answer and maybe consider that at the next meeting and policies going forward. 
Okay. Thanks so much for joining us today, Pat. It's been a pleasure.